And another thing I know you've said, Ryan, and maybe you can explain it if I don't say it exactly right. You've said, don't try to be a world champion. Try to train like a world champion. Absolutely. Can you explain to us what that means? For me, it's not about the trophy. It's about a mindset. My belief is if you train like a champion and you think like a champion, you will become a champion. Right? So that's what it's all about. And champions believe in themselves, they push themselves, they help other people, and they accomplish big things. I think there's a champion in every single one of us. What happens though is people forget that and they don't believe in themselves. You have to believe in yourself first before anyone else is going to believe you. So I think that it's really important to not aim to be a world champion but train like one because you'll offer the world a lot more. Mm -hmm not worried about the goal so much as getting there. When you talked about practice, mm -hmm. I know you've had some unorthodox methods. You've <laughs> practiced speeches underwater and anything. Do you still do any of those unorthodox things, getting ready for your keynotes and your workshops? Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking at my wife now. I'm giving a keynote on Thursday. And I like to do, I like to practice my speeches in really weird spots. So like on the plane or in the airport. And this morning I was practicing my keynote in the middle of the Marriott. Uh, when I, where I was staying a couple days ago, or this morning, and I was doing this one scene. I thought I was uh, blocked where no one would see me, and there's a little part where I do a little dance, and <laughs> the cleaning lady saw me, and she waited, and she goes, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> and I do that because if I can do those speeches or practice those speeches in uncomfortable situations, I'm ready now and I'm prepared for cell phones to go off or alarms to ring or people booing. Well, I guess no one's ever booed, but if that ever were to happen, I'm ready for how I can react and still deliver my message. Maybe we could ask Chelsea to come in. She's getting mentioned. Chelsea, can you come in and have a word with us too here? Mm -hmm. I want to talk, uh, we're going to introduce Chelsea Avery, part of on, Avery on. Speaks. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can afford it. So this is the team that makes up Avery today. Mm -hmm. Woo! Both Ryan and Chelsea, and you guys are traveling together on a North American tour yes. to dozens and dozens of cities. Yes. But we understand this is your first stop in Canada. Where's next? Uh, after this, like he said, he gives a keynote on Thursday back in Portland, and then we visit Minnesota and <laughs> Cedar Rapids, and we take a break for the holidays and start back up with some more West Coast, some Texas locations, Chicago. We're we'll all be over back the place. in Canada. We're doing Vancouver and Victoria, Winnipeg. We're doing a lot of cities. <laughs> this year we went to 62 cities, three countries. It was a little insane exactly. this year. <laughs> but fun. Yeah, but fun, so, yeah. It sounds like fun. The causes that you met, the giving 10%, I know even in your careers. Chelsea, you've got an interesting thing going with the wife styles, the brand and blog, and Ryan, your work with not only the Emmy that you got in college, based on AIDS awareness, yes. but your work with Special Olympics. Right. All of these are great give back to the communities. For those things that where you're able to give back to the community, how is your speaking ability mm. make you even more effective in getting those messages and affecting people's lives outside of Toastmasters? That's a great question. W one of the things that we do whenever we're creating a message is we, have, we ask ourselves three questions. Is it simple, is it impactful, and is it relatable? Those are the three things that we believe that all messages or speeches need to have. And if you, what, the best thing that Randy taught me, he taught me a lot of things, was when you speak from your heart, the world will listen. And we invest our money and our time and energy into organizations and to causes that we believe in. So when you believe in it and you're touched by it with your heart, it's easier to speak about it and to share about it and to get more people involved with it. Yeah, your, your sincerity and ob obvious passion comes through and everything and Thanks. just the expression on your face shows me that you care about this and everything you're doing. It's very nice and inspirational. Mm -hmm.